Thank you, Excellency. I would like to give now the floor to the Minister of State for Europe and the Americas of the United Kingdom. Excellency, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Chairman, and congratulations on the Austrian chairmanship this year. And I'm particularly pleased that the UK has been able to support you through our chairing of the Human Dimension Committee. So, colleagues, um, three minutes, three points. First and foremost, we must restate our ongoing concern about the violations of the OSCE's principles and commitments, which are evident in Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea and its destabilization of the Donbass, not to mention 10 years of continued violations of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Georgia. And in this context, we must wholly support the important work of our special monitoring mission in eastern Ukraine, and together wholeheartedly condemn the obstacles and access restrictions which they face in their daily work. These are our monitors, and they deserve the support of all 57 OSCE states. And I express my condolences through Secretary of State Tillerson to the family and friends of Joseph Stone, who was killed in April while doing his duty on patrol with the monitoring uh, mission. My second point is about the structured dialogue process. The OSCE's conventional arms control and confidence building measures have made a significant contribution to European security. And now the structured dialogue has the potential to build on that. And we hope it will, and that it will bring greater transparency and predictability, and that it will reduce military risk. But we must also implement and modernize our existing instruments properly, and in particular, the Vienna document on confidence and security building measures. And my final point is on human rights. Frankly, the human rights picture in parts of the OSCE region is worsening. There are unjustified restrictions upon civil society and the media, and there is increasing discrimination against individuals on the grounds of ethnicity, faith, and sexual orientation. And the OSCE has a very important role in countering those trends. And that's why working with Austrian colleagues we've worked for active and inclusive dialogue on pressing topical issues which include fundamental freedoms, intolerance and discrimination, gender issues, modern slavery, and challenges to democracy. And these conversations must continue, and we must continue to focus on them properly. So Mr. Chairman, let me reiterate my strong support to you to our new Secretary General, Thomas Greminger, and this organization. And I look forward to working with Angelino Alfano and his team for the Italian chairmanship in 2018.